Hello mga batang mandunho! Welcome to Mathematics 10, Quarter 1, Week 2. I am Ms. Jessica M. Manasho. I will be your teacher for today. Here's what you need to know. Illustrate arithmetic series and determine the sum of the arithmetic sequence. But before we proceed to our lesson, let us review first. What is arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term is obtained by adding a constant number from the previous term. The constant number being added is called the common difference. Let's say for example, in a sequence 5, 8, 11, and 14, there is a common difference between them. So therefore, the sequence 5, 8, 11, and 14 is an example of arithmetic sequence and 3 is its common difference. There is a given formula in arithmetic sequence. That is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Wherein, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the position of term, and d is the common difference of the sequence. We can now use this formula by answering this problem. Find the fifth term of the arithmetic sequence for which the first term is 9 and the common difference is 7. In answering such problem, we have to identify the given first. So, we will have first term is 9, the common difference is 7, and we are looking for the fifth term. So, a sub 1 is equal to 9, d is 7, n is equal to 5, and we have to find the fifth term. For our solution, substitute the given to our formula, wherein we will have a sub 5 is equal to 9 plus the quantity of 5 minus 1 times 7. By following the rule of Jemdas, we will have 9 plus 4 times 7. So 9 plus 28, that will be equal to 37. So our fifth term is 37. I hope this is clear to you. Let us now proceed to our lesson, which is the arithmetic series. What is arithmetic series? An arithmetic series is the sum of definite number of terms of an arithmetic sequence. To find the actual sum of the terms, use either the two formulas. S of n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n, or S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of 2 times a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. You can use either of the two formulas. Take note that the second formula is just the expanded form of the first one, wherein S sub n is the sum of the terms, n is the number of terms, a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the nth term, and d is the common difference. Reminders in solving for the arithmetic series. Identify the number of terms to be added, especially the first and the last terms. Use any of the two formulas for the arithmetic series, provided only one variable is unknown. For the first formula, we can use this if at least the number of terms, the first term, and the last term are given. We can use the second formula if at least the common difference, the first term, and the number of terms are given. Just in case there are still other variables that are missing, say for example the n term or the common difference, Utilize the concept of the formula of an arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d to find that missing variable. Then you can proceed to the arithmetic series formula. Let's use this formula for answering this example. For the arithmetic series 12, 17, 22, 27, to 52, what is the first term? What is the common difference? How many terms are there? And compute the sum. Let's answer these one by one. 
Let's answer letter A. What is the first term? We can already see the first term in the given problem, which is 12. For letter B, what is the common difference? Common difference can be obtained by subtracting the second term to the first term, or the third term to the second term, or the fourth term to the third term. Since they have the same answer, the common difference now is 5. Letter C. How many terms are there? Since this is an arithmetic series, we can use the arithmetic sequence formula in solving this problem. So from the given a sub 1 is equal to 12, d is 5, a sub n is 52, let's find the number of terms. By using the arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Substitute this given on this formula. So we will have 52 is equal to 12 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times 5. By following the rule of Jamdas, we will have 52 is equal to 12 plus 5n minus 5. By subtracting 12 and adding 5 from both sides, we will have 52 minus 12 plus 5 is equal to 5n. Simplify both sides, we will have 45 is equal to 5n. To find n, we can, we can divide both sides by 5, so that will become 9. So therefore, there are 9 terms on this series. Letter D. Compute the sum or series of 9. From the given a sub 1 is equal to 12, a sub n is equal to 52, and n is 9, we can use the first formula, which is a sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. Substitute the given, so we will have a sub 9 is equal to 9 over 2 times the quantity of 12 plus 52. Following the gemdas, we will have a sub 9 is equal to 9 over 2 times 64. Simplifying this, we will have series of 9 is 288. So, the final answer is 288. Let's have another example. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic series 4, 8 up to 40. From the given first term, which is 4, the last term, which is 40, and the number of terms, which is 10, find the series of 10. Since these are the given, we can use the first formula, which is s sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. Substitute the given to our formula, we will have s sub 10 is equal to 10 over 2 times the quantity of 4 plus 40. So simplify, we will have s sub 10 is equal to 5 times 44. Multiply the 2, so we will have S sub 10 is equal to 220. So, so the series of 10 is 220. Another example, find the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic series 5, 12, 19, and so on. In identifying the given, we will have A sub 1 is equal to 5, D is equal to 7, N is equal to 12, and we are looking for the series of 12. Since these are the given and we don't have the last term, we can use the second formula. Substitute this given to our formula. Then follow the rule of Jamdas. So we will have S sub 12 is equal to 6 times the quantity of 10 plus 11 times 7. Simplifying this, we will have series of 12 is equal to 6 times 10 plus 77. That will be equal to 6 times 87. And series of 12 is equal to 522. That's all. Thank you and God bless.